Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. And in this class, I am going to help you to understand about how to configure the backup of our server operating system. I am not going to use any kind of third party software because you know that n number of third party applications are available in the market that will help you to configure the backup of any kind of services. Like you are going to take the backup of entire operating system, you are going to take the backup for any specific file and folder. but to take the backup of server services like Active Directory domain services or you are going to protect your uh, objects and container of AD or you are trying to, uh, to configure the backup for your group policy. Without any third party software because the each and every server operating system can give, a, give us a one built in feature and with the help of this built in feature we are able to configure the backup for each and everything. So let me move ourselves to the screen. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So I am moving to my desktop screen that I can show you the all kind of concept because if your concept is okay, then definitely you are able to perform all the practicals related to the backup services. Okay. So let me help you to understand about the actual meaning of backup as for the name suggests with the help of backup service, we are able to protect our entire OS, the program files, driver, application, third party tools that you install. You can protect the entire operating system or you can also customize your backup as per the requirement. You don't want to protect your entire OS because you have already created additional domain controller. You have already established your server machine with the help of RAID 5. So our operating system is already protected. Our responsibility, we just need to protect the Active Directory services, entire services which are integrated with the AD. You are going to take the backup for all the all, all the services. I hope everyone able to see my screen. So in server backup, basically server backup is a type of feature that available in each and every types of server operating system. You can find this feature in server 2012, 2016, 2019 and 2022. So very first step, let's take an example. This is our server machine and in this machine we have already installed server 2019. Uh, Alright, and it is working properly. The domain that I established may be with name of class.com. This is our domain controller. Second step, n number of objects, yes, n number of objects and containers and you already established multiple GPUs, right? N number of group policies that you created in our domain controller. Our responsibility and DNS, because DNS is also integrated with our class.com, our domain controller. Our responsibility to just protect our AD related services, AD, DS, backup. Yes, we are going to configure the backup for Active Directory domain services. You must need to install one feature. The first step, install Windows Server Backup. Yes, you need to install Windows Server Backup feature. Number second, open backup. I'll also show you the step, no worry about it. Also, give you the proper steps that require to take the backup and select destination, select location of backup where you want to put your entire data, uh, location of backup and then choose types of back, type of backup and then proceed. So these steps required to configure the backup for our ADDS services. One more point just wanted to add, whenever we install the Windows Server Backup feature with any server operating system, it will provide you three different options. Full backup, second bare metal backup, And the last one is related to system state backup. Okay. So these three different types of backup services provided by backup feature of server. Full backup means 
complete operating system backup. You can also say that complete operating system backup. The meaning of bare metal plus data, sorry, plus data. The meaning of bare metal operating system plus application plus drivers. The number of drivers, number of applications that you install, you are going to, you are going to like as a select, you are going to, you, you are going to protect your operating system, application and drivers. Next, the last one, which is related to bare metal. Help to protect. Help to protect ADDS services only. Means this will help you to protect only active directory domain services. With the help of system state, we are going to protect our active directory domain services only. I'm moving myself because I have already created and set up our domain controller in server 2019. So this is class.com, the domain that I established. And let me open it and show you the number of users and GPUs that I have already created. Go to the tools option, active directory user and computers. And in active directory users and computer, we are able to find n number of users and n number of uh, uh, groups, organizational units are available. In the user, we are able to find ABC. This is a type of user. No sync is a type of group that contain Alibaba and Tata. So this, this is organizational unit, sorry. So multiple user and organizational unit available. Our responsibility to protect them, right? Not only the user and computer are uh, user and organizational unit. If any services are integrated with Active Direct, like GPU, it's directly connected with our domain controller. And not only the GPU, DNS is also connected with the same Active Directory database. So for this particular task, very basic step required. Open, add role and features, click next, next, next. And as you discussed, backup is a type of features, right? So I'm going to open the page of server backup, uh, sorry, features of server. You need to click on Windows server backup. You need to install this particular feature on your base machine, base machine in the sense on server computer. Installation is in progress. You have to wait for a few more minutes. We are in training, so I'm going to put my data in same drive, right? So right click and let me shrink some space because we need to specify the location of our backup file. So I'm going to create the uh, one partition with capacity of 25 GB. And this partition we are going to use to store our backup files, 25 GB. Let me proceed with next, next, next. Backup. All right, installation almost completed, right? Close it, go to the tools. And after that, the last option is available, Windows Server Backup. This is the panel. This is the page where we can find the all types of backup. Go to the backup, local backup, and it will give you two different options. You can schedule backup or you can create a backup once. So definitely I wanted to show you practical. So that is the reason I'm going to proceed with the backup ones. And in next class, we are going to discuss about uh, schedule backup as well. Different option, click next. I don't want to take full backup. You just need to click on custom. Next again, add items. Under the items, please select system state. Yes, we are trying to protect only the ADDS services. So please proceed with the system state. Next. Next, where you want to put it? Do you want to store in local storage? Or you already created one shared storage, you just need to provide the path of your shared storage. In the production environment, always try to put your data on shared storage. Please do not use your local storage because sometime if any problem occurs with your uh, existing machine and you also store your backup file on the same computer, we are not able to restore. So that is the reason you can proceed with the remote file. but. I'm, I wanted to show you immediately. That is the reason I'm going to proceed with uh, local. The drive that I created recently with name of backup drive letter E, 24 point something GB space available. Proceed with next, start backup. 
it will take time like required up to 15 10 to 15 minutes because it will calculate the entire space of your active directory and after that you start taking the backup for every system administrator for active directory engineer for server engineer mandatory to know about the procedure how to protect the active directory driven services so once our backup is ready we are going to uh, delete some object or some some group policy and after that will restore the same computer i hope everyone able to understand what i'm saying so this is in progress and it will take time so next in other class in next video in next class i'm going to guide you remaining content i hope everyone okay with the point that we discuss in this class thank you so much please do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we are going to connect in next video thank you bye bye